Hello and welcome to the video. Today I got a special treat for you, the Crack Pigeon. Uh, this is an 8S 8 inch uh, conversion for the Pigeon. And this is great for high speed landscape or chasing fast cars and boats and all sorts of things like that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ham with this thing. These props are pretty smooth, these uh, Gemfan 8060s. Uh, I just gotta keep an eye out for uh, video reception. But the sun's coming out, I just got some sunset shots and now I'm gonna work my way down the mountain.
Okay, we made it down the mountain without incident. Uh, let me give you a run through of the setup. So it's uh, pretty much just a regular pigeon with the naked cage and extension assembly and all that stuff. But what I did is I installed uh, eight inch arms, which are available on my website, linked down below. And what this allows you to do is use some big ass motors, uh, 3110, 900 KV. You can also run 2812s. Uh, I chose these because they're specifically rated for 8S and uh, in combination with the Gemfan uh, 8060 propeller it's uh, quite fast and reasonably efficient. The batteries I'm using are the Goldline 3300 mAh 4S. They're only 45C but it's actually okay because when uh, you're running 8S in series there's less current draw. And so that means it's not stressing out the batteries as much. So you can actually get away with 45C. These are especially good 45C. These are like true 45C. So they're actually pretty high rated batteries. An important thing to note is uh, when running these two batteries next to each other, I use a bit of uh, like a Velcro, like one of these standard Velcro cable ties and before running it into the uh, series connector. The series connector has actually got a jumper, uh, 12 gauge wire spanning the negative and the positive of each side of the XT60, so that's why they're in alternating fashion like this. And so when it's plugged in, uh, the Velcro cable keeps it well away from the propellers. The ESC I'm using is the iFlight SuxX 80 amp 3 to 8S 4-in-1. Um, they're coming out with a new Blitzkrieg one or whatever it's called. Uh, it's a 35 by 35. It looks huge and heavy and this, been's, this one's been working great. They're quite expensive though. They're $200 but it's totally worth it because it's reliable. As far as the flight controller I'm using the Acon F722 V2 and it's nice because it takes a wide range of voltages natively and it has a convenient location for soldering a little capacitor to the flight controller for extra filtering in order to reduce the chance of DJI freezes or flight controller reboots. And if you'll notice, I'm running the DJI Air Unit off of the flight controller directly. I only recommend this if you're using a um, little 50 volt, 100 microfarad capacitor. So the, the, so the crack edition of the uh, Pigeon, the crack Pigeon, uh, I would recommend it for people that want something that's not necessarily like super top speed, but you can sustain a pretty good clip for quite a while. Um, this would be suitable for race cars and speed boats and things like that. Probably not good enough to chase airplanes. You'd have to throw bi-blades on, which I did try, and there's just too much vibration with the APC bi-blades. And you could balance them, but I don't know, maybe I suck at balancing. I just couldn't get rid of the vibrations. The strengths of this setup are not so much its acrobatics or lightweight, because it does feel quite hefty with... Uh, two of these four cell batteries on there. Where it excels is smooth, high speed, swoopy swoopy action. Um, great for large expansive landscapes and high speed chasing. So check out my website strawhatarial.com and I also have a Cinelifter frame out, the Mamba. I have an indoor one coming out soon called the Viper uh, as well as the Pigeon and the Puffin, the OG naked Cinelifters. <laughs> Alright, see you next time.